All right. What's going on, guys? Man, it's been a minute. Um, I started this channel off, man, almost nine months ago. And I kind of abandoned it. Um, not really on purpose, but uh, working nights and having a kid and a family kind of got in the way of me making a lot of videos. But we're back. I've changed today's. Um, and I have a lot more time on my hands. So... Hopefully we can get to a normal video release uh, either weekly or twice a week, something like that. Um, not just gear reviews, not just stuff like that, but I want to go into like stuff like when is it actually legal to shoot to kill somebody, uh, stuff like that. Uh, what can keep you out of jail and not be prosecuted for what you think is self-defense. So I want to go into stuff like that, kind of that kind of stuff. But today, we're not going to do that. I want to go over something that I tested out at the range today. Um, when I bought my Voodoo Industries um, Witch Doctor, it came with a Second Amendment mag. Second Amend mag, my bad. Or Amend, Amend 2 mag, if I can get that name right. And it got me thinking, what's the difference between this magazine, you know, your regular old PMAG. Uh, this is your um, PMAG 30 round. Uh, this one is for the 5.56, five, that matters to you, buddy. Um, so, both these work in any AR platform. Um, this one is the one I keep in it, so it's loaded up with red tips. But let's go over some differences. Of course, the branding and everything is different. Um, this one you got in a Men 2 uh, logo with the bottom having a red 2 with what I call almost tread on the bottom. Uh, for your grip wise, you just have some kind of indentions and stuff. Um, Everybody knows about a PMAG. You got the gray, gray follower, all that kind of stuff. Um, the only branding you have on it is at the very bottom, the PMAG 30 with your 5.56 five, or whatever caliber you're getting. Um, made in the USA, this is the MOE version. I don't really know if there's another Magpul that's not MOE that is a PMAG, but you can let me know. Um, this one's also made in the USA. Um, I've really shot with both of these. This one has a huge made in the USA. They're very proud of that, which you should be. But uh, differences, uh, the PMAG is a little bit shorter, just barely, uh, if I line up the bottom. Um, of course, your PMAG just has the square indention. So this one has a lot more of uh, of a design. Um, both are fairly the same weight when loaded. Um, I haven't really noticed a difference in the weight. PMAGs are tried and true. Everybody loves PMAGs. Um, there's no reason not to love these. Um, they, you, can, you can get them in 10 round. You know, you can get them in anything you can dream of. I believe they still make a drum mag. I'm not, it, I do not like drum mags, so I'm not really sure. But this will always fire, and you can trust it that it can go in almost any AR platform. Um, most manufacturers, you know, they ship with a P mag. Uh, you really don't see the metal M4 mag styles that I, that, or what I call an M4 mag style, uh, the old metal mags. I don't really see those a lot more. Um, I think there's just a couple guns shipping with one of those. Um, and I can't remember the brand, but it's some off brand or not off brand, but some like boutique brand. Um, this slips out of my hand a lot. I have, even with my gloves on, you know, when I'm trying to get in the mag well, it goes fine, but there are times that, you know, it feels a little bit slippery where, which I think this solves it. You know, you have these serrations on both sides that really, really grip your hand. And it's really easy to keep a grip on it. Um, 
my personal opinion, I like these a lot better, the MN2. Um, when you're buying them, you can still, you're still getting an American made product, which I'm real big on. Um, I'm trying to, you try to keep everything made in America, especially right now. You really want to support your brothers at home. Um, so these I really like. Not, nothing against these Pmax. All right, just a little cut, just a little cut in the video. But like I was saying, both these are American made, so you're still supporting an American company, which I think is huge. I I like the branding on this. I know a lot of people really don't like brandings, but I really think you know the Amen Two logo and the you know the bottom logo and stuff like that. Um, your follower is also red in this one. Um, or what I call the follower, but you know, the spring follower, uh, that's probably not the right term for that, but that's what I call it. And that's correct to me. So who cares? It's also red. It just has a really cool contrast. Now, could that get you, some people may say that would get you in trouble if you're trying to be stealthy because this blends in a lot more. Okay. But is a red number two really going to? put you out there, especially on the bottom of a mag and the follower being red when it's going to be in a mag well and or a carrier. I don't think so. So like I can see that argument, but I also don't see it. Like it's, it's just that it's just a different kind of branding and it's really cool. Um, like I said, both are really good, but I do prefer the Amen too, and I'm, I'm I would probably have never tried this brand if it didn't ship with my AR. Uh, I'm just saying I would probably never pick this up because you can pick up P mags at any any bot store, any gun store is gonna have a ton of these and kind of different versions. You can get the ten round, you can get the thirty round. They make a twenty round. You can get tons of these, and I could see that as being a pro towards this one you know, towards the P-Mag brand mags. You know, Magpul is a house brand for almost everywhere. So yeah, you can go pick these up almost anywhere. I went into Academy today and they had a whole chef of these for like 15 bucks. I'm not sure on the price point on this one. I'll actually drop it in the info section because I'm not sure on the price point. Like I said, it came with my rifle so i'm not really sure so that that could be i may have to make an update and talk about the price point because this could be 30 dollars. i don't know if this is 30 dollars, i would not pay extra for it but if these are say these are both you know 15 dollars um give or take i would definitely get the mn2s um now another con that is a pro for this one is that I have not seen an Amen 2 mag anywhere in store. Um, I haven't seen them at Academy. I haven't seen them at, at uh, Brownells. Uh, I haven't seen them at Bass Pro. Um, I, I've only seen them on their website and shipping. I'm not sure if all Adam's arms ship with these, but I know their voodoo, their voodoos all ship with Amen 2 mags. Um, and or come with the mags. Um, so that could be something if you don't want to order mags and wait for it, you know, if you have to go pick up a mag at store, it, this is going to be the one you find. And or some other brand that I really don't know what other brand you would want to pick up if this one's in store because this is a reliable mag. I put probably 500 rounds through this one mag and I am not noticed anything wrong with it um i haven't had any misfeeds i haven't had it i know some mags have just you know they'll fall out of the uh mag well it hasn't done that it locks in perfect every time i put it in another ar that was it was a palmetto lower locked right in shot great uh releases great so to me you know that's all you really need in a mag does it does it feed right and does it consistently stay in place and it, it 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 really does so i'm a big believer in these if i had to pick between these two at a store 
and they were the same price point, a men two all the way. And I suggest you try to pick it up. I will link to their website and I also link to the website for these. Everybody knows where to find these, but I'll link to the website for a man too. Pick one up. Like they're not paying me. I'm, I'm not being told to say this. I just really think that this is a great magazine for, you know, maybe a alternative to the, the Pmax. I really do think it's a great alternative. And it's just something that you can add to your bag, you know, uh, try something different. Um, like I said, I probably wouldn't have tried one if um, it hadn't shipped with, the, with my AR, but I'm really glad it did. I said one more time, just in case, cause I've shown it in case it was upside down. There's your branding on that one. And of course, your PMAG branding on that one. That's about all you get, but just, just a little information for you. Like I said, uh, take it with a grain of salt, but if you have a chance to try one of these mags, definitely pick one up and try it. That's all. Hey, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, tell me what I'm doing good, tell me what I'm doing bad, um, and share with your friends. Um, I really would like to get to 100 subscribers. We're at 52 right now, I think. I would love to get to 100 quickly and, you know, I would like for this channel to grow, especially during this time. I would like to show you the information that I have and I would love for people to relay back the information that they have. So, you know, really grow this community. All right, I'll catch you next time.